coordinate okay it is always named as coordinate it is named cml it is named as coordinate machining machine as we have discussed today morning so now i hope so you remember it's a sophisticated machine device used to determine the geometrical characteristics of an object okay it is mainly a sophisticated sophisticated machining device used to determine the geometrical characteristics of an object so that's what we say in the case of cmm i hope so you remember so this machine can do 100% dimensional assessment the main attractive things about of this uh, machining operation machining operation is this this machine can do 100% dimensional assessment and a versatile in the capability to record measurement of complex profiles with high sensitivity and speed so that's what we say okay so what happens is this machines can do 100% dimensional assessment okay so mainly what happens is this machines can always do 100% fully 100% dimensional assessment and are versatile in their capability to record measurement of complex profiles with high sensitivity and speed that's what we say with high sensitivity and speed so in the case of coordinate measuring machine cmm okay what happens is a coordinate measuring machine is a sophisticated measuring device okay so a coordinate measuring machine is a sophisticated measuring device used to determine the geometrical characteristics of an object it is mainly used to determine the geometrical characteristics of an object operating in three dimensional space and cmms are mechanical system of an object surface these machines can do 100% dimensional assessment and are versatile in the capability and record measurement of complex so now we will start with according to the purpose according to the requirement according to the functionality according to the design aspects all the factors we consider we have various types of cm so we have various types of coordinate measuring machines okay so the first one we are going to discuss about the candy lever so before that before classification okay before we classifying it when so they are grouped into five types of cm so we can say there are various physical configurations of cm based on the movement of the probe along the three axes relative to the specimen x y z axis as we, as the morning agash told okay vertical horizontal and inclined they can be grouped into five types of cm that's what we are name listed here this is here so what in the case of cmm is like the types of cmms are mainly available so cmm are classified as follows first one is according to the control system it is mainly always according to the control system so uh, we can say okay we can say like control system like manual cmms or free or free floating cmms what in a manual cmms or free floating cmms because the cmm the cmm machine is always controlled by a skilled labor or a operator controls available so that although we have a machine taking the accuracy but rest the machine is controlled with the help of an operator so all the technical aspects all the input data will be provided from the skilled labor or skilled operator that then my diploma it was engineer person not the skill you have to know the contact built of the instrument or the component has to be measured in the three dimensional way and how to place it how and which all dimensions are required for attaining the um, attain the measuring of the machine to help of cmm which will be feasible for our purpose and what all factors has to be considered in the time of measuring all this factors has to be considered as clear that's why we call as manual cmms or free floating cmms the second one is the most advanced one which are nowadays we are which are you are commonly using this computer numerical control that you can remember cnc which you, we have already seen in our late because the last semester we had the mechanical manufacturing technology lab where you have seen the cnc lab and when various types of operations we have done in cnc lathes right and the and the and the starting of this uh, subject module on module to we were discussing can you tell me various operations in cnc performed can you uh, uh, can you, can you tell me amit can you tell me the various operations in cnc performed as you will be knowing amit various operations various operations in cnc cnc is performed can you tell me Amit, are you available over there? Amit? Okay then. Karthik, can you tell me? Karthik Kotheri, are you available? Yes, can you just tell me? Yes, sir. Can you just tell me the various CNC operations? Machine, uh, machine structure, probe system. Hello. Cut, uh, cutting of gears. Hello. Ah, uh, computer hardware and the softwares. Uh, 
Yeah, that's good. Uh, that's good. With the help of CNC. Okay, fine. So, com computer numerical control or direct computer control DCs or CMM. So, this is what happens regarding the manual, the manual and the computer numerical control. Okay, computer numerical control. That's what happens. Then, according to the design of main structure for orientation problems. Okay. Then the second classification. First one is according to the control system. It is mainly recording according to the control system. Control system means what? CMM is classified according to the control system. First one is manual CMM and computer numerical control CMM. Okay. First one is manual CMM or computer numerical control CMM. The second one is according to the design of the main structure of orientation probe arms. I hope so you remember where the probe arms. Probe arms where the stylus will be cut and will be placed. And what is the purpose of a stylus? The stylus is to used to check, to identify the coordinate points and to measure all the values. That's what is the purpose of a stylus. Then according to the probe, we have bridge type, cantilever type, column type, horizontal type, and gantry type. That's what we are going to say. Then we have according to the mounting style, that is the bench top, freestanding, portable, and handheld. All these are extra information like the case of the CM. So we have told it's manual CM. So automatically what happens? There will be an operator which basically moves the probe around the axis to make the contact and record the measurements. In the case of manual CMS, that's we have an operator control. So we have got an opportunity over there in the case of a job aspects. Why? If you know the CMM or if you have a basic skill in CMM, you can join as a CMM operator, which helps because in order for operating the manual CMMs, we require an operator who physically moves the probe. So he cannot physically, he cannot simply physically move the probe. He should have an idea of what all are the coordinates, what all are the coordinates which has to be measured for having the structure of the design in our computer system or in the software which has been employed and also the various aspects, the various pinpoints, the various holes. So you should have a very clear or a very precise idea of why, um, why touching the probe or by touching the probe stylus, what happens, what all points will be, which all coordinates will be measured or which all axis will be pointed or which all points of a surface will be <coughs> sorry, <coughs> taken for consideration. All that. So, in the case of manual CMS, we have an operator where physical moves the probe along the axis to make contact and record the measurements. Then, manual CMS are used for a small and medium sized component inspection. Mainly, the manual CMS are mainly used for small and medium sized component inspection and are best suited for prototype workshops with small quantities of measurement and are okay and are best suited. The best suited for prototype workshops with small quantities of measurement. They are, they are less costly than the computer control CMM for the same size. So this is what happens in the case of manual CMM. Okay, what happens? So are used for small and medium sized component inspection and are best suited for prototype workshop. I hope so you know what I mean by the word prototype. Prototype is the before the manufacturing, before the last scale manufacturing, we will be having a prototype of the product in order to check the feasibility, study, design, and all the aspects later with the concern of the project. Pro product, product, sorry. Then the second one is like the CNC or DA or DCs or CMM. So what happens in this in this type of CMMs? Okay, the probe the probe moment is always controlled by a computer system. Here we doesn't have an operator. Here we have a probe moment is controlled by a computer system. Okay, the probe moment is controlled by a computer system. While both manual and the CNC CMMs can be programmed. By, while both manual and the CNC CMMs can be programmed. The later are driven by the motors instead of the operator. So what happens in this system? is the probe movement is controlled by a computer system while both manual and CNC CMMs can be programmed and the later are driven by motors instead of the operator. So which results in huge savings in time for inspection. Then CNN and CMMs are uh, the most suitable for production environments regarding a higher volume of measurements and for applications because as it is an uh, computer control process automatically the accuracy, the precision rate, the uh, amount of movement, everything will be comparatively 10, 2 to 3 times faster than the normal case. That's what happens in the case of CM. Okay, that's what. Then now we are going to say about the various types. Like first one we are saying is of bridge, bridge type. So now here we have mentioned it as a candy lever. Okay, candy lever type CMM, then bridge type type CMM, then column type type CMM. Okay. So now we will start with the candy lever type CMM. Okay, now here we have the candy lever type CMM. So I hope so. Okay, this is the okay. This is the this, it shows. Okay, what happened? This shows what this shows. This is a uh, test book review, and this is an automatic the, the instrument. How does it looks like, sir? I view. Okay, how does the instrument looks like? So, so now like the first one is like a candy lever type. Okay, the candy lever type CMM. So in this type, what happens? You can see. 
why it is named as cantilever the structure and support itself is been telling it has been a cantilever so what happens in this type what happens and cantilever support structure carries a vertical arm so what happens you see first for the the slide itself what we are written measuring measuring probe fitted on the said axis carrier so what happens over here is the measuring probe is fitted on the said axis carrier and move in the direction said direction probe can move in horizontal direction said axis can be fitted to cantilever beam where x and y axis mode moment is provided by table where x and y axis and here in this case what happens you can see you see what happens measuring probe is fitted on said axis which why because this is the beam okay so this is the probe where we have a stylus for touching so this might be the stylus so okay, here the stylus which is touching what happens is measuring probe is fitted on the said axis carrier and can move in a set direction so see here the measuring probe is fitted and this can be moved in the set direction and probe can move in a horizontal direction and always what happens is the probe the probe will be moving in a horizontal direction and in a vertical direction also where the said axis here what happens it's moving in a horizontal direction where said axis is fitted on the cantilever beam so that axis always is fitted on the cantilever beam this is the cantilever beam where said axis is fitted and what happens x axis and y axis movement is pure provided by the table so what happens here the table provides the x axis sorry the x axis movement and the y axis movement and suitable for long and thin thin specimen this is mainly suitable for long and thin specimen the tables arranged and systems arranged in such a way that by the l shape cantilever beam can result in bending while the l shape cantilever beam can always result in bending okay can be result in bending this is the case of cantilever beam so what i can say a cantilever beam support a structure which mainly carries a vertical arm to which the probe is attached and the cantilever part of the column must have short length to enable high rigidity which makes the cantilever type suitable only for small measuring ranges that's what happens so the main point is like what happens is like an initial point where what happens a cantilever support structure carries a vertical arm to which the probe is attached so mainly to which the probe is attached and the cantilever part of the column must have short length to enable high rigidity which makes the cantilever type which makes the cantilever type suitable only for small measuring ranges mainly suitable for only for small measuring ranges then the cmms the cmms allow high acceleration and speeds to be achieved due to large supporting base of the column and its low height that's what happens in the case of a cantilever type b that's what mainly happens in the case of a cantilever type b okay then the cantilever cmm due to the construction enable easy access and require relatively small floor space you see relatively require small floor space then part larger than the machine table okay mainly the part part larger than the machine table can be inserted into the open side okay part la Part, uh, this is part. Okay. So what happens is the cantilever CMM due to the construction enable easy access and require relatively small floor space. Then part larger than the machine table. Part larger than the machine table can be inserted into the open slide. Okay. So part larger than the machine table can be inserted into the open slide without without restraining full machine travel. Without restraining full machine travel. Okay. What happens is. the part part larger than the machine table automatically part larger than the machine table can be inserted into the open side can be inserted into the open side without restraining the full machine table okay without restraining the full machine table then the cantilever cmms have small measuring uncertainties okay the cantilever cmm have small measuring uncertainties and so are used predominantly for precision measurement and so are mainly used for predominant precision measurements okay so what happens they can move into four fixed table and moving table that's what happens in the case of cantilever b okay then the second one is named as okay moving bridge type okay the second one is named as the moving bridge type okay second one is named as the moving bridge type okay so what happens over there is okay what happens over there is in the case of moving bridge type okay moving bridge type is we can see the figure okay and this is the scheme uh, original figure okay and this is the figure which you have to draw the time of examination so what happens is see it is most widely used the bridge can move in x direction you can see here the bridge can will be moving in the the bridge can move in the x direction this is, this is the bridge so it can be this is the probe this is the stylus so this can move in x direction then probe is in the said axis probe is in the said axis carrier where the said axis carrier is fitted to the five axis arm so the z axis carrier is always fitted to the y axis arm then what happens is probe moves in the y direction along the y axis arm so mainly what happens is probe probe 
moves in the y direction along the y axis arm then y axis arm is fitted in the x axis arm which is supported by the table this is what happens in the case of a but moving bridge type okay this is what happens in the case of a moving bridge type where it is most widely used where the bridge can move in direct direction so always the bridge will be moving in the x direction okay the bridge can the, the here the bridge can move in the x direction then what happens okay the bridge will be moving in the x direction then what happens the probe in the x axis okay probe is probe is in the z axis carrier and z axis carrier is fitted to the y axis arm then probe moves in y direction along the y axis arm so y axis arm is fitted in the x arm which arm is supported by the table so this is what happens in the case of moving bridge okay what happens in the case of a moving bridge type this is what happens in the case of a moving bridge type so what happens is like the bridge type cmm are most widely used coordination machine so this consists they consist what this consists of an arm suspended vertically from a horizontal beam it mainly consists of an arm okay the bridge type cmm are most widely used coordinate machining machines where they consist of an arm suspended vertically from a horizontal beam okay suspended mainly vertically from a horizontal beam that is supported by two vertical posts that is supported by two vertical posts in a bridge arrangement okay that is supported by two vertical posts in a bridge arrangement okay that's what happens in the case of what in the case of a bridge type cmm okay in the case of a bridge type cmm what happens is the bridge type cmm are the most widely used coordinating machining machines the bridge type so it is also the most widely used coordinate machining machines then they consist of what happens they mainly consist of an arm they consist of an arm suspended vertically so this is the arm you can see the arm okay the arm sorry the arm the arm it may consist of the arm is suspended okay it may consist so what happens the arm it may consist of an arm suspended vertically from a horizontal beam that is supported by two vertical posts in a bridge arrangement that is that is always supported by two okay that is supported by that is supported by two vertical posts in a bridge arrangement say the bridge type construction provides better accuracy what happens the bridge type construction also provides what better accuracy okay the bridge type construction also provides better accuracy the bridge type construction will be providing better accuracy and high rigidity and high rigidity what happens is the machine axis carries the bridge which spans the object to be measured what happens in this case what happens the machine axis carries the bridge where it spans the object is measured and the bridge supports the machine y axis and the bearings on the machine said axis bar the two different types of scissor that has stationary type and the moving type okay there are two types one is stationary type another one is the moving type of bridge in the case of moving bridge type we can say the moving bridge so the bridge type we can have when mainly two types one is stationary and another is moving so we are discussing about the moving type which type in the bridge okay so what happens is like here we have two vertical post okay what happens is here we have two vertical post so it is widely used in x direction then the third one is fixed and the second one is fixed bridge type okay in the case of a fixed bridge type what happens it is similar to the moving bridge but here the bridge is rigid here the bridge is, you can see here the bridge is what happens here the bridge is rigid in the previous case the bridge was able to move you can see this is a guide wings it can can move okay this is a table and can move so in this case it is rigid so okay this is case it is similar to moving bridge but here the bridge is rigid attaching to the machine support the, the bed can move in axis that's happen in the case of a what the case of a moving bridge so stationary bridge and the moving table okay in this design table load is restricted so what happens here we have a moving table so what happens is in this design table load is due to acceleration but high rigidity of the overall structure leads to small measuring uncertainty that's what happens in the case of this so what happens is like over here in the case of bridge type in the case of bridge type cmm what happens we have two types yeah, one was what one was the moving bridge type and second one was the fixed bridge type where in the case of moving bridge we have all told a stationary table and moving bridge we have a stationary table and moving bridge in the case of a in the case of what in the case of a uh, uh, moving bridge we have a stationary table and moving bridge but in the case of fixed bridge what happens we have a stationary bridge and moving table vice versa okay that's the difference we have main difference but in the design table mainly in the design table load is restricted in the design table load is restricted due to the the design table what happens mainly the load is restricted due to acceleration okay due to acceleration but high rigidity of the overall structure leads to small measuring uncertainty but high rigidity of the overall structure leads to small measuring uncertainty okay that's what happens then we have the column type cmm okay column type cmm this is the figure 
where he have, where we name it as the column type CMI. So here what happens is the design is similar to the drilling machine. Then table provides the X and the Y direction movement. So here also you see the table will be providing the figure itself, the figure itself is self-explanatory. Where what happens? The table provides the X and the Y direction movement. Then good rigidity and good accuracy. So this is the main case in the case of the column type CMM where the column type CMM is usually called as universal measuring machine. The column type CMM is usually called as universally measuring machine. Then here the column moves in the set that is in the vertical direction only. So here the column moves in the set that is on the vertical direction only and the two axis and the two axis saddle permits movement in the X and the Y direction. Movement in the X and the Y direction. That's another. So in the case of column type, we have design is similar. The design is similar to the drilling machine. Here, what happens is the design is always similar to the drilling machine. The table provides the X and the Y direction movement. Where the table provides the X and the Y direction movement. Then good rigidity and good accuracy. Good rigidity and good accuracy is the application. Then good rigidity and good accuracy will be happening so what happens is the column okay the column type cm okay the column the column type cm is usually called as universal measuring machine it's also called as universal measuring machine okay it's also called as universal measuring machine the column the column type cm is usually called as the universal measuring machine here the column moves in the set that is in the vertical direction here the column moves in the set that is in the vertical direction so this is what we are saying okay already we are told before in the vertical direction also in the vertical direction and only a two axis saddle only a two axis saddle permits the movement in the x and y here only a two axis saddle permits in the permits the movement in the x and y that is horizontal Moves more than x and y. That is horizontal with the x-axis and the y-axis movement. With the x-axis and the y-axis movement, these machines are used in the gauge room rather than on the production floor. These machines are used in the gauge room rather than the production floor. So these machines are widely used in the gauge room rather than the production floor. Then comes the horizontal arm type. Okay. Then comes what the horizontal arm type CMM. Okay. Then comes the horizontal arm type CMM. Okay. So in the case of horizontal arm type CMM, what happens is the, the measuring probe is fitted at the Y axis arm. So what happens, you can see the measuring probe. Okay, here, where is the measuring probe? The measuring probe is fitted, it is fitted. See, this is, this is the thing. It is fitted, where it is fitted in the Y axis arm. In the Y axis arm, the probe carrier can slide up and down in the vertical direction. Here, what happens is the probe, like the probe, the probe carrier can slide up and down. So the machine probe is fitted in the y-axis arm. So what happens? The probe carrier can the and resist on the arm, where the probe carrier can slide up and down in the vertical direction. So the table can move in the z direction and x direction also. See the table. So this is the table which can be moved in the x direction and also in the z direction. That's what we say. Also in the z direction and also in the x direction. The table can move also in the z direction and the x direction. So for large works, it is mainly used for large works. It's mainly used for heavy large works. So what happens in the, in the case of horizontal um, CMM? Okay, it is, it is a horizontally cantilever form. You can see it is also a horizontal cantilever form, single support cantilever beam. So yeah, so it's a horizontal cantilever form where, according to the purpose, the different types of horizontal CMMs are like moving arm available, moving table available. It's According to the requirement, according to the purpose, and according to the functionality, we can consider various types of horizontal CMM like moving arm, moving table, and fixed table. All that types are available. So, what happens in the moving arm design? Okay, in the moving arm design, the arm is encased. The arm is encased in a carriage supported on a column. So, in the case, what happens here? What happens in the moving arm design? Okay, the arm is encased in a carriage supported on a column. In the moving arm design. Mainly in the case of the moving arm design, okay. The arm is encased in a carriage supported on a column. The column moves horizontally x direction. Hmm. The column moves horizontally x direction relative to the base, and the carriage moves in the vertically set direction where the probe is attached in the horizontal arm, where the probe is attached in the horizontal arm, which moves in the y direction. So in the moving table CMM, the horizontal arm is fixed at one end of the carriage. 
where the movement in the y direction is provided by the moving table so this is what happens in the case of a horizontal arm cm okay this is the main case which happens in the case of a horizontal bar cm where we have moving arm where the moving arm decides and the arm is encased in a carriage sub in a carriage supported on a column where the arm is encased in a carriage supported on a column where the column moves horizontally okay where the column moves horizontally that's x direction relative to the base and the carriage moves on the vertical direction so the probe is attached to the horizontal arm which moves in the y direction the probe is attached to the horizontal arm which is moved in the y direction so in the moving table cmm in the moving table cmm the horizontal arm is fixed at one end of the carriage the movement in the y direction is provided by the moving table so this is what happens in the case of horizontal arm cmm so horizontal cmm can carry the probe horizontally cantilevered from the vertical support then different types of cmms are available okay different types of so moving arm moving table and fixed table so the moving arm design the arm is encased in a carriage supported on a column so mainly it's a arm is always encased in a carriage supported a column mm. then the column moves horizontally in x direction the column will be moving horizontally in x direction relative to the base and the carriage moves in the vertically z direction what happens is the probe is attached to the horizontal arm which moves in the y direction the probe is attached to the horizontal arm which moves in the y direction so that's what happens and the moving table cmm the horizontal arm is fixed at one end of the carriage and movement is in the y direction this happens in the horizontal arm then comes the gantry type okay then comes the gantry type cmm okay so gantry type cmm so all this comes under cmm coordinate actually machine okay so what happens over here as you can see this is a different type of figure and we can see how long how big it is uh, you can see the human representation okay so here what happens is we have a gantry type cmm okay where it shows the side where it shows the uh, textbook review and also uh, the uh, the what the actual photo of the instrument which is being used for a type of gantry type so here what happens is two support column and one cross beam across the support column so you can see this is the two support column what happens is here we have a two support column see this is a two support column and one what one cross bar one cross beam across the support columns and one cross beam across the support columns the type of gantry type so two support column and one cross beam across the support column then second one is the cross beam can move in x direction the cross beams can move in the x direction okay cross beams can move in the x directions cross beams can move in the x directions along the rails in the support column it's always along the rails in the support column see okay cross beams can this is the cross beam which can move in the x direction this is the rails okay so along the rails in the support column this is the rail which is present on the support column then see this is on then probe can move in set direction in automatic what happens the probe the probe can move in set direction so this can move in the forward and downward so this can move in the upward so stylus everything is there okay so probe can move in the set direction then z carrier is attached to the y arm <coughs> sorry z carrier the mean is the z carrier is attached to the y arm and the cmm is for large specimens like cars etc and mainly the cmm is mainly applicable for the large specimens like cars etc see this is what happened in the case of cmm okay so what happens is here in this type this is the gantry type cmm okay this is mainly the gantry type cmm this is mainly the gantry type cmm where these cmm these cmm have a frame structure okay mainly these cmm okay mainly this this cmms have a frame structure so as to span over the object to be measured or scanned so mainly this here this okay these cmms so these cmms have a frame structure so as to span it is always to span so this is the practical application you can see spam so as to span over the these cmms have a frame structure so as to span over the object to be measured or scanned they employ the three movable components they mainly employ the three movable components they mainly employ the three movable components okay they mainly employ three movable components moving around the mutually mutually perpendicular guide base which is moving around the mutually perpendicular guide base then columns are attached to the floor carry two rails parallel okay columns are attached to the poles which carry two rolls okay so what happens is columns okay columns are attached to the floor which carry two rail okay so the columns 
what happens here is the columns are always attached okay columns are attached to the floor carry two rays parallel to each other you can see the figures are parallel to each other so what happens it is supported and move in the x direction along the two elevated rays it is always supported and move along the x direction in the two elevated rays where the propule is mounted in a carriage that moves in the y direction so the propule is always carried in the carriage which always moves in the y direction horizontally along the cross beam so the probe attached to the propule moves in the z direction that is vertically see that is vertically and relative to the cross beam so the gantry machining machines are large and are built very solid very solidified in a very solid structure you can see by seeing this figures if you understand it can come the car so it's a very large machine okay and by this schematic representation you will be understanding you can see the human origin so what happens gantry the gantry machining machine instruments gantry machining cms are large and are built very solidified very strong and very solid so they these are used for measurements of very large parts in system manufacturing so what happens it is mainly these are used for measurements of very large parts okay so these are used for measurements of very large parts in system okay these are used for measurements of very large parts in system manufacturing and heavy machine construction okay and heavy machine construction they are also used in measuring car body and wind tunnel models they are also used in measuring car body and wind tunnel models okay that's what happens in the case of gantry that's what happens in the case of gantry gantry machining machines are large and very built and solidify okay and they are very built and solidify manufacturing heavy machine construction so these are the main factors which happens in the case of cmm so automatically what happens when this all this is happening okay or what happens the what happens so the main or when we are doing all this what happens automatically what will be reduced there will be reduction in the inspection cycle time flexibility then reduce operational errors improve accuracy and precision improve productivity so all these factors can be considered in the case of all these types in the case of cm so what happens by considering all this why do we why do we okay why do we okay why do we manufacture or why do we find such types of cm okay go on to the purpose why do we employ since it is costly also okay why do we employ now can you tell me the various types of cm at least any one of you i hope so and we can ask to and this way and this and this way can you just tell me i mean list down the various types of cms okay employed and to suresh yes sir can you just list down the various types of cm because the whole class we were just only telling about the various types of cm that's all types of bridge type no Now before that we had a classification, right? Before that we had a classification to two types. That's that's quite important. Before starting with the bridge type, we had a classification regarding control system. You remember, okay? How do we apply? With with respect to the comparison with humans, we had a. So can could you just tell me how it was? We had a particular control system. We had two types. Any one of you can say. I just called up and said, "I see your children." So, you can anyone of the class can say, not a problem. Okay, like, what are the types according to the control system? According to the control system, what are the types? That's what my question. According to the control system, what are the types? And do and do forgot forgot? Oh, you yes, sir. Anyone of you in the class? Other than Sri Krishna, anyone of you can tell? Manual C M M and C N C C M M. That's what. Yes, manual C M M and C N C C M M. Thank you, Vishnu. Yeah, manual C M M C M M. So in that, what happens? It is a manual. Now manual C M M is like computer. Uh, so, so manual means it is always op done with the operator. And in the case the case of computer C M M, it's a direct computer control with the help of a computer controller. That's a computer C M M. That's what happens. Okay, then. Then now come according to the main orientation. Now any one of you can tell me what are the various types of other CMM. Various types of other CMM. Can you tell me now? Okay, now it's manual and then then again according to the design of main structure or orientation of the probe, we again we classify. That was we are discussing about. Like according to the design of the main structure and of orientation. Okay, and also and also about the orientation of the probe, we are discussing. Can you just tell me what was? 
I am just asking the names, nothing else. I am just asking the names. Any one of you, Rahul? Sir, candy liver. Yeah, candy liver. Yeah, candy liver type then. Bridge. Bridge type. Okay, good. good. Column. Column, Column type. type. Horizontal arm. Uh, horizontal, horizontal arm type. And the gantry type. And the gantry type. Gantry type. Okay. So these are the things. Hmm? Okay then. So these are the main aspects. Thank you. So now, okay. Now when we require all this, can anyone of you now, now? Now can anyone of you tell me what? Why do we require all this? What are the advantages of CM? Other than Rahul, can anyone of you tell me what are the advantages of CM? And we'll, we'll just wind up for today by saying this. What are the main advantages? Why do we use all this? What are the main advantages? Why do we all use all this? What are the main advantages? What are the main advantages? Any, any one of you? Any, any one of you can you can you say? Like what was it as? What should I say? Dimension measurement. Uh, okay, dimension measurement. Okay, but uh, ah, that's right. But uh, I am asking about the advantages. I'll ask to Srira. Srira, Srira, could you tell me? Srira Vijayan, could you just tell me what are the advantages of this CMM? Okay, then I'll say one nothing. It is like it, it, it will be reduce the inspection cycle time with the not with the labor. Of course, always the probe will do it with a, with a faster process. That's why product reduce the inspection cycle time. That's the main thing. Then the second one is like the flexibility. We can have various parts can be machine. Then it also has the uh, it is high precision, high precision and high accuracy. So it will always be having the reduced operator errors. It will always be having having the reduced operator errors. Then improved accuracy automatically we have the improved accuracy since it is a machine it will be having the improved accuracy and precision then improved productivity so all these are the factors we consider in the case of cmm and the various types of cmm okay so for timing we will uh, stop for today we will continue in the next class okay i'll just stop for accuracy good accuracy ah good accuracy correct we'll stop it